Hi, this is Brett Jarvie at brettjarvie.com. This video is about using the FLV embed plugin to embed a video on WordPress. It's a pretty pretty simple process once you um, once I show you how e really fast and easy it is here. Um, this method is assuming that you have Amazon S3. Now I haven't I have a tutorial that that shows you you'll be on the blog watching this video and then you'll see underneath it this video that um, shows you how to quickly set up um, Amazon S3 if you get an account and then use the S3 Fox organizer add-on for Firefox so that's where I'll be doing it you can also upload the video to your blog if you know if you're only going to have like one small video and if you you know unless you get tons of traffic you're probably not going to overload your hosting but if you do get tons of traffic you you'll start to have some hosting trouble um, and if you want to upload a lot of videos you're going to want to go to S3 um, it's it's really cheap and it's really easy to use and if you were going to upload it to your own blog you just go to the media section of your blog and simply you go to media add new and then choose it from your computer and upload it up to 64 megabytes you could do it right from your post too but I, I would do it here if I was you okay let's get on with it we're gonna I'm gonna upload a, a video I made for a friend just showing her how to use notepad so the first thing I do here's the S3 Fox organizer I've already got it uploaded the first frame and and the um, the video itself and the first frame is a PNG it just works better that way um, here's the FLV embed site all you got to do is Google FLV embed plugin Or any combination of those words but why not just FLV embed plugin will take you right there um, it's easy to get it on your blog just go to plugins on your dashboard add new search plugins just embed will probably work And there it is. Um, to see, it says I have it installed, so it says installed. But if if you don't, it'll say install now, of course, and then just install it. And then once it's installed, you're going to want to go into your settings, and you'll see FLV embed, and right underneath it, video sitemap. Now that's the main reason we're doing this. Just to make your own video sitemap then when you get your video into the search results it's a direct link to your blog it gives your blog you know it's like a nice backlink for your blog plus it's easier to rank a video and see it'll give you your it'll give you your video feed you'll want to make note of that and um, you can always come back and see it any time by hitting hitting it in the dashboard but with these settings I just go with these three right here um, allowing the the plugin to detect the duration can slow it down 
I don't see any real reason for that anyway. Um, this you can leave blank the way we're going to do it, but it tells you some stuff in case you want to do it. Now, I'm just assuming, just for the sake of everybody, that if I say something that's just obvious, I'm just trying to, you know, help the newest of users. I know a lot of you understand this already, but some of you may not. And then you got some things where you can, you know, build your site map and force a ping. If you even see this page, that means it's ready to, ready to go. Okay. Then you want to make just a couple adjustments in the FLV embed options. You want to check the first one. You want to display the poster image. Now, now here's the thing you can do if, if you, you know, if you keep your your first frame, your poster, you know, that'll be displayed on the on the video before it's played. Um, you can keep it in the same folder as your as your video, and these will give you the options of whether you want to do that or not. I uh, the way I'm going to show you how to do this, you don't need to do that. You don't need to worry about none of this. So you can just leave all of this the way it is, unless you would like to mess around with it a little bit. You know, if you know what you're doing, go ahead. If there's some setting that you'd like to change, that's all there is to it. It's it's really a nice plugin. Um, so then. You want to put it in a post. I hit post. I should have hit add new. But I will now. What the hell? Okay. Add new. Okay. The thing to remember with adding, adding this is you want to hit the HTML. And what, what we're going to do is just put in a short code. And the easiest way to get the short code is to come to the actual FLV embed site where he's, he really explains how to use this well. So if there's anything I don't answer, you could find it here. And if you, if you can't find it here and or in my video, get a hold of me at my website um, and I will get back to you. See it gives you nice example outputs different ways of doing it. Now here's the one we're going to use. It's got the movie URL, the poster URL, the width and the height of the video. Now, I usually set the, the width and the height at 640 by 360. But you could, you know, if you already have one made that's that's different, you just have to find out what it is and then add it accordingly. So what I do is I just copy and paste this little code. Grab it. We're just, you know, I might have some writing here and everything else if this was a real post, but this is just an example. So I just paste it right in there. Now, the reason I do that is because if there's any little discrepancy or spaces in here, it doesn't work right. So I figure the best, the best way to do it is to do it like this. Now we go over to the S3 Fox organizer. And there's the video I want. So I left click it once, I right click it once, and I just copy it right to my clipboard. We go back, and this is where we want the movie to be. And we just paste right over that. There it is. Now we'll go back and get the poster. 
the first frame PNG, and I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, that's the right one. Do this, the same thing. I'm going to check the access, make sure it's, well, I'm going to have to redo the other one because for some reason this turns off the controls all the time. I, I, <coughs> it's another thing to remember. Okay, we'll go put this in and then we're going to have to redo the other one. It's just the way it goes, you know. A lot of messing around with this stuff, but it's worth it. Okay, I'm going to put that. Let's illuminate that. Paste it. Okay, there's the first frame PNG. Now I'm going to go redo the access to this, or else we couldn't see it, you know what I mean? Well, this one stayed the way it's supposed to, so that's okay then. Oh, I know, I just put that in that first frame in there a little while ago and I didn't change the access. All right, so everything's cool with that. Now we just gotta go back and put the size in there. And the size was 640. And 360. That's it. That should be, that should be embedded right now. And we will preview that. There it is. That's how quick and simple that really is. Hi Sue. This is just some basic stuff about Notepad. And all note That's all there is to it, folks. Remember, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to help you. I'm, I'm into making tutorials now. And, um, you know, please subscribe to my blog, or as you can see, I have a poll right here. If, if there's anything you request, I'd be happy to make it. I enjoy doing this. I hope this helped you. And thanks for watching. Bye now.